Hey guys, it's Extreme Strategy here, and today we are going to be discussing how to bring SCPs into Minecraft and turn your entire Minecraft world into a massive version of the SCP world, and also this hole was dug specifically for testing. We're going to be covering several SCPs and what they do, and then also in the description below there is going to be links to all of the mods that I was using. So if you find this video entertaining, be sure to smash the like button and subscribe. So first up, we have the armor. As you can see, I'm wearing MTF5 armor. This comes from the SCP armor mod. Apparently, the O5 level is completely empty. No surprises there, considering no one knows about O5. And also, for some reason, they have level 2, level 4, and then level 3. I honestly don't know why. We have all types of armors that you can use. Then a non-SCP mod that I find actually fits well with this is the guns mod that allows you to basically swap swap out different gun parts and designs. Reason being is it gives you a ton of equipment that it would make sense to have, like pistols and also machine guns. And yes, they actually have recoil, so if you hold it, you will slowly begin to go up. That was not me controlling that. That is actually the gun itself. And if you ever need to reload after you've emptied an entire mag, just hit R. Now, if you have the correct type of ammo, you will reload. Let's hop into what you wanted to see, and that is the SCPs. So the first one is the SCP-3114 head. I have no idea what this does, and you can't even put it on either, so I really don't know why it is here. This is the actual 3114. Wouldn't it be chilly if I dropped down a Class D personnel? The SCP is not going to do anything, but I really don't trust that because I know for a fact that many of these SCPs will attack the player, but not other NPCs. So let us put an end to this guy, and if I cannot kill him very quickly, I will actually be using SCP-1023 Arc, which is a broken telekill sword. And next up we have SCP-035. Will you be a good sir and put this on, please? Wait, what just happened? Why do you have a netherite helmet on? That's supposed to be SCP-035. This is not what happens to me if I put it on. Well, this is a good chance to demonstrate the frag grenade, and just how absolutely amazing the graphics from that mod look. All right, he's dead. So what SCP-035 does to me is if I put it on, that if I put it on, it instantly kills me, forcing me into survival and saying that I was killed by magic. So now I have to go back into creative before something else catches up to me and decides to kill me as well. And then I get spawn camped and then fly all the way back over here. And this is the new SCP-035. If you stand close to him, you actually begin to bleed. So we're actually going to drop a class D next to him. And what is happening? What is happening with this? I, what? All right, we're going to drop one down and he's just going to stand next to him and do absolutely nothing. So why did this one get so powerful? What's up with that? All right, I guess I have to stand next to him and I begin to bleed. Um, all right, nothing's happening. Let's just put an end to this. All right, you are a bad help. Helmet, so we are going to destroy you. Also got to get rid of some of these mags that are just empty. And let me reorganize my inventory. I think they stole some of my equipment. And now we are an MTF Epsilon 9 unit. So now that we are a more professional personnel, hopefully, actually, I, I don't know the ranking of the MTF. So if someone knows, please let me know in the comment section below whether or not I upgraded myself or downgraded myself. Be my luck, I downgraded myself. Let's drop down SCP-457, which is the Burning Man. And he's going to set fire to everything, drop down a class D, he doesn't seem to be hostile towards it, but that will end quite quickly. I always wanted to take care of that guy very quickly, just due to the fact that if not, he will spread fire all over the place, and you will be left with one heck of a mess, and I really did not want to clean up mess, although I could just have dug another hole. And this is one that interests me quite a bit, the foot of the bed, 072. So if I just happen to sit in this, something seems to appear right there, and then it dies, and I have all my debuffs removed. Yet I have a health boost for literally ever, which is absolutely amazing. That is an awesome health boost to have. Then another interesting SCP is 3608, the Living Dimension. And for once I actually spawned above the ground, which is better than last time where I spawned below the ground. And I do not know what the purpose of this, of this dimension is. You can fly around for a little bit and you won't see anything. And if you go to one of these cubes and then break into it. They seem to be hollow. I thought the last time I was in here I used the cubes to actually get out. Apparently they have a chance of containing the exit to this dimension. Alright, so some of them do, some of them don't, or I just managed to break the door and didn't even notice. We're gonna break that in case we accidentally zap ourselves back in there. We're gonna break that one. And then we're just gonna show you an interesting one. 173, the sculpture, just because of the fact that everyone loves this thing. The only problem is that there is actually no way to kill him that I have found. Bullets don't seem to do anything. The telekill sword doesn't seem to do anything. I've set him against SCP-106 and literally nothing has happened. So I think that this entity is quite literally just invincible. So lastly, we're going to just be taking three structures to look at. So I will find the three and then I will be back and I will tell you what three I selected. 
Alright, I selected the Fountain of Youth 006, the Clockworks 914, and the Red Pool 354. So let's drop down the Fountain of Youth. Spawns on in. Always make sure to have a key card with you, because you never know when you're going to need it. So I'm going to come on in here. The Incinerator. Well, I guess we're going to try and find where the Incinerator entrance is, because I would like to turn that on. So are these the pools of the Fountain of Youth? Yes, they are. That's absolutely amazing. And are all three of them like this? Yes. So what boost do I have now? I have infinite absorption, infinite regeneration, infinite health boost. Wow. And then when I hop on out, they all seem to stick around. That is amazing. That is absolutely overpowered. As for that incinerator, I'm starting to think it might be connected to this. So we're actually going to drop a couple of class D personnel. Sorry, gentlemen. I am just going to walk out here. I'm going to walk over here. I am going to turn on the incinerator and let us see if they live. I would say they did not live. And also that lava is coming all the way out. All right. Run! Next up we have the Clockworks, which is marked as safe as well. I wonder if this is connected to the Clockworks virus, or if this is something else. I thought the Clockworks virus was a 214 or 217 or something like that. Well, whatever it is, didn't want me to get in here. Alright, um, this is not the Clockworks virus in the least. We have Danger Do Not Enter sign. Danger, do not enter. And yet there's an entrance point here. So what happens if, say, I do enter and then drop down a class D? Nothing? All right, we have a rough course one-to-one -one find very fine match to dictionary, do not match to dictionary, and activate. If I hit activate, nothing happens. Wait, where's my last D personnel? Oh, he's all the way back here. So he's still around. Don't know why there's that danger sign. Also, where do I insert the item? Because I'm assuming that this is the thing that you place items into and it makes them more powerful and better. But where do I insert my item? I have no idea. And lastly, the red pool. Drop it on down. I said drop it on down. Apparently spawn in some snow because I think this is supposed to be from Canada. Waltz on in. Open up the doors and see what the red pool has granted us. Is one of these ice puppies. I actually don't remember what's actual designation is. I have to remember it's an ice dog. All I know is that this is a nice pool of blood and will summon entities in at random. I just don't know what causes them to appear. I don't know. Let's drop down a sacrifice and then let's drop in another sacrifice and let us see what happens. Oh, apparently they're both just going to get into the water. Apparently they both want to swim. Alrighty, I'm going to step out. I'm going to let the doors close. And I'm going to reopen them. And apparently nothing happened. I'm going to go out and then fly around. And still nothing. Alright, we're going to force something to happen here. 351-1. Oh my goodness. Well, you just absolutely destroyed him. 351-14 is the Kraken, and 351-18 is a mechanical robot. I'm assuming that all of these are highly dangerous. Yep, looks like it. And I want to see the Kraken, that one actually very much interests me. So if I drop in a Class D personnel, oh my goodness, that was actually amazing looking. You not trap me, oh, you're going through the ground. Wow, that's actually pretty impressive. That is very impressive. Now where's your hitbox? And then I've dropped a million smoke grenades right there. I highly doubt that's going to work and be effective. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to smash the like button and subscribe. Go check out the Discord server and these mods. Links to all of them in the description below. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day.